Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. We are seeing more and more incredible things from Tesla's full self-driving systems. Things that no other system on the planet can do yet. And at the same time, we have more and more people waking up to what is happening in the full self-driving space. Like Brooke Crothers that covers and reviews electric vehicles and have been testing a lot of ADAS and full self-driving systems. So let me just share some of his thought on Tesla's latest full self-driving version 13 that he has tested in the new Model Y. And also share with you some truly stunning skills from Tesla's cars in China that shows that these cars are not just following clever programming. They are thinking. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So Brooke wrote in his article, for me, an advanced driver assist system or ADAS has become essential. By automating some of the most tedious driving, an ADAS makes driving safer and less stressful. Yes, I completely agree on this one. I will never buy a car that cannot offer at least what Tesla offers with autopilot system, when it can drive itself on the highway. This makes the long drive to Austria for our skiing holiday, for example, so much more relaxing. And I feel so much safer knowing that the car never gets distracted or get tired doing those 14 hours of driving and can see 360 degrees around the car at all time. But Brooks continues, I've tested ADA system extensively for at least a week on each EV, on electric vehicles from General Motors, Ford, Rivian, Acura, Sabru and Tesla. See notes at the bottom. And this is the long list of system that Brooke has tested out. You can see on the screen here. While GM and Ford's ADAS, Super Cruise and Blue Cruise respectively are very good, they are not at the level of Tesla's full self-driving and none offers free ADAS like Tesla does with autopilot. Yes, again, like I have said so many times, what you get for your money in a Tesla with safety, performance, software, driver assist features is just unmatched by anyone in the industry. Tesla's value for money is just insane. He talks about the difference between autopilot and enhanced autopilot and full self-driving. But as he wrote, full self-driving, $99 a month, is the game changer. No other US-based automaker can match it, in my experience testing various ADAS. It can perform in some scenarios similar to way more driverless taxis, and that's saying a lot. I have had a chance to use both Waymo's driverless vehicles and the new Tesla Model Y, which is beginning deliveries this month, and was surprised how capable the new Model Y was with full self-driving version 13, the most recent version of Tesla's ADAS. The difference between Tesla and the rest is local roads and back streets, where Waymo shines too. This is where competing automakers froze in the towel. But there is a reason for that. Local roads and back streets are strewn with risk and unpredictability, more so than highway driving. So competing systems such as GM Super Cruise choose to limit their ADAS to highway. That's fine. In fact, I would rather drive a car myself on most local roads. And I found Super Cruise strikes a good balance between providing a very good highway ADAS while leaving local roads to the driver. But there are also some local roads in Los Angeles where ADAS is helpful. Those with chronic heavy traffic can be just as tedious as highway driving. And tedium leads to boredom, which lead to distractions, which can lead to accidents. Tesla's full self-driving don't shy away from local roads. On Friday, I tested full self-driving version 13 in Woodland Hills in Los Angeles on a 2025 Model Y. The week before, I tested version 13 on a new refreshed 2026 Model Y. In the most recent test, it performed much like Waymo's driverless system does, which I used many times. 
I let the Model Y drive itself for about 30 minutes, it handled tricky left turns across traffic, cars cutting in front of it, and even crowd parking lots at Whole Foods. In all scenarios, it performed with the same kind of autonomy I've expected with Waymo. The beauty of the automotive driving system like Full Self Driving is that it's always focused, never distracted. Contrast that with all the drivers in Los Angeles texting and driving. The point is autonomy doesn't necessarily need to be limited to highway driving. And I would argue the higher the level of autonomy, the better. You won't get that from any other car maker outside Tesla. Yes. Exactly. One thing that Brooke fails to mention is that Waymo's system is very good at driving, but it is also in a geofenced area. So while it drives nicely in those areas, it can't drive anywhere else. Whereas Tesla's system can drive you from New York to LA and from Miami to Seattle and everywhere in between. You still have to keep an eye on it. It is still supervised, but it will do most of the driving. And as Brooks said, you can get that for just $99 a month in a brand new Tesla Model Y, which is quite amazing that it is possible to get this awesome software in a car that is that affordable. So the big difference to Waymo is, of course, you can't buy a Waymo car. And even though Waymo has service in LA, it can't drive you to Long Beach or Malibu. In Austin, it can't even drive to the north of Austin, let alone to neighboring cities like San Antonio. So sure, the Waymo system works very nicely in their small little geofence pockets, but it is useless for private cars and can't take you out of the city. But the tester system is not not just able to drive in cities and can take left turns and can drive on back roads of the city, it can literally drive everywhere you can. It is not just looking for the lines on the road, it is looking for drivable space. And I don't think I have seen a much better illustration of that than this video from China, as Ray for Tesla wrote on X with this video attached. Chinese full self-driving testers were blown away and couldn't believe what happened. Full self-driving was looking for road entrance in the big open lot. No markings on the ground, no signs. Full self-driving recognized not going off the edge of the lot, it almost looked like full self-driving AI was conscious, sort of knowing what it needed to do to get back on the road. Truly incredible. Yes, just watch as it comes to the edge here. It stops and thinks about what to do. Then it turns around and it's almost like it's searching for a way out along the side of the lot. But as you can see, it knows what is drivable space and what is not. The dark gray area are where it knows it cannot drive and the white space are what it sees as drivable space. And when it comes to the other end of the lot, you can see in the visualization what it sees and it moves forward slowly as it still don't see a way out. But then there is a drivable path up to the road that opens up and it drives off the dirt road and on to the main road. Truly amazing stuff here. There is literally no other system on the planet that would have been able to maneuver out of this lot but Tesla's AI brain. Stunning. It really shows that Tesla's system is really able to drive everywhere. It's not just following some pre-mapped area like Waymo is, that is basically just driving on digital rails. Tesla's system is truly thinking. And in this scenario, it is trying to figure out how to get out of this dirt area it's on. Really some of the best showcase I have seen of this system just looking for drivable space. Because even though we have seen Dirty Tesla show that it can drive on a dirt road covered in snow, it is still much easier to figure out where to drive in that scenario. But here in China, that is not a road. That is basically not a place a car should even be. And they turned it on at that lot facing the wrong way because then they knew it had to figure out how to turn around to find a way out of there. And it is in China and at a place it has never seen before. And it still does it. I'm blown away. And this is just getting better and better for every day that ticks by. And you can buy a car today that has that system available for just $99 a month. And if Tesla really comes true with their June release of their unsupervised for self-driving in Austin, people that 
own a Tesla. Any Tesla can just get a little over-the-air software update and their car can also drive itself in Austin while you can completely sit back and relax and check that phone without being a danger to your fellow drivers. This is increasing the safety on our roads and reducing the stress of driving in rush hour traffic and people will in the end get so many hours back to work, relax, watch some entertainment or whatever people choose to use all that extra time they get back from not having to drive for hours. So very nice to see that Tesla system is thinking for itself and see that people are starting to think for themselves as well and realize that Tesla system is the best on the market and their base system, the autopilot, comes free with any Tesla. So, as Brooke wrote in his headline, steering clear of Tesla, you might miss the future of driving. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.